Does your stream look like this? No one wants to watch that. So let's fix that and make it look pro like this instead for free. So you can get more viewers. First, let's get OBS Studio if you haven't already. Everything's linked in the description for you guys. Then we'll use this free tool called Own Pro. We're gonna click on the Join for Free button. Then sign in with Twitch or YouTube. I'm gonna do Twitch. Choose one of these three free designs. I'm gonna choose the Pure Series. Next, we can change our language if we want, or we can choose a color. I'm gonna choose this red one over here. So you can also click Show More and click a lot more colors, but I'm just gonna choose, let's say this red one. Then I'm gonna hit Install Now. now we we can enter our social media if you want. If you don't want to, just hit no. Otherwise, hit yes. I'm going to type in my socials for all three. Add social. Pick whatever socials you want. Instagram and TikTok. So I got all three here. And then I'm going to hit next. And while we wait for this to load, make sure to drop a like on the video so other streamers can find this video. Now we can click on this download button here to import it into OBS Studio. So click to download. Then we're going to hit the next button. And then we're going to click to download the transition file as well. Now remember this number right here. Transition point with this value. Remember this number for later. It's going to come in handy. Andy, don't forget it. Now we can go into OBS Studio. You can see we got our amazing background here, but what we need to do is go to the scene collection at the top, click that tab. Then we're gonna go to the import button. Ignore what I have here. You're gonna go to the first empty box in the middle. Click this little three dots button, so click that. Find the .json file that you just downloaded, then we're gonna click it and hit open. Make sure that box is checked, and then we're gonna hit import. Then we go to the very top again, where it says scene collection, and then click on pure or whatever package you downloaded. So I'm gonna click on pure for me. Now now go to the bottom left corner. You see we got a whole folder of stuff. We got starting one, animated starting soon screen for free, and it has all of our socials automatically in. Then we got our ending scene, same thing. We got BRB already done. And then we got overlay one, which we can add our gameplay and our webcam in a second. And then we got our talking one. We can have a webcam and then like a display capture for browsing the internet here, chat and all that good stuff. In order to have a professional stream, we obviously want to make sure we sound nice. I'm using the Rode PodMic USB, which I really like. Cool part is I can also connect it from my computer to my phone so I actually use it to record my shorts and everything which is really convenient for me and it sounds pretty nice don't you agree I'll leave all these linked in the description down below by the way if you sound nice you got to look nice right so that means we got to get a good webcam lucky for us insta360 sent over these webcams for us to try we got the link 2 and the link 2c the only difference is that the 2 is on a gimbal so it can do tracking compared to AI auto framing but they're pretty much the same so I'll be using the 2 so I simply plugged in that bad boy we're gonna add a new video capture device source so click on the plus button under sources video capture device I'm gonna call this Insta360 link two, and then I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to find the device from this list. As you can see, I got an integrated webcam for my laptop and look at how awful this looks. This is a very bad webcam with the laptop. So actually I'm going to double click on that source. I'm going to switch it to the beautiful link two that we just got. All we got to do is hit OK and look at that beautiful. That is absolutely amazing quality. It's got AI auto tracking. You guys can see my vacuum cleaner that I need to go and put away. It tracks me automatically. I didn't got to do nothing. So that's pretty cool. Got a lot of cool features. And now I'm going to drag the corner down here and we're going to fit it in between these things here. So we got our camera here. I'm going to drag it in between there. Now we just got to tweak it a little bit so we can kind of drag the arrows and use the arrow keys on our keyboard to make it fit perfectly behind it, which looks pretty good like that. Nice. Also, we can do the same for our overlay tab. So we go back to this scene. I want to add a webcam overlay. So let's go back to own pro. We're going to hit done. I'll add that transition later, but we're going to go to the dashboard right here. Then we're going to go to the my scenes tab on the left. And and we're going to open up that package we just had. Then we're going to go to the overlay scene overlay. So click on that one. Now we can make any changes to our stream here in case we like something or don't like something or you want to change something. But I just want to add a webcam graphic. So I'm going to click the add graphic button and then I'm going to go to overlays right here. I'm going to find the package we're using, which is pure. We got our webcam overlay right here. So click on that. I'm going to click on the middle and then drag this corner to make it more appropriately sized. Let's put on the left over here, maybe like right there. Then I want to hit save in the top right corner. Otherwise, none of this is going to save. So make sure to hit save and let's go back to OBS. As you can see now it is updated right here. And if it didn't simply click on the foreground browser, double click that scroll down and then hit refresh cache at current page. It's going to force it to refresh. And that way, if you hit saved, it will update your changes. So now we can do the same thing. We'll click the plus button. We'll go to video capture device and we'll do add existing. We'll add that webcam earlier. I can't get over how good quality this is. This is a 4k 30 FPS or 1080p 60 frames per second webcam. 
webcam and has a half inch sensor, which for noobs or people that don't do tech is actually really freaking good for a webcam. So I'm gonna make sure to do the same thing to drag that right in the middle and boom, we got it right there. So we got our beautiful webcam, we got our webcam overlay and that. Once you got your game open, I'm gonna open up a new source. We'll hit the plus button. You can use display capture if you wanna capture your whole screen or you can use game capture or window capture. I'm gonna use game capture, hit okay. And then now you can either choose capture any full screen application if you got two monitors. Otherwise, click this little button here and then go to capture specific window. And I'm gonna specifically capture Hollow Knight. Now, if you play different games, you're gonna have to change this window every time. But if you want, you can choose whatever you want. There's multiple different options, but we'll just hit okay. We're gonna drag our game capture all the way down. And now you can see we have our beautiful game capture. We got our webcam overlay and we got our stream labels at the top automatically imported pretty quick. We're gonna go to the talking scene at the very bottom, do the same thing, plus button. Then we're gonna do game capture. Then we're gonna do add existing game capture, hit okay. I'm gonna drag the corner down to make it fit right about here. But instead of dragging it all the way down, we're gonna drag it in between the foreground and the background. So that way it has that nice little overlay look. Now we gotta add our transition. So let's go to scene transitions box right here. We're gonna click that little plus button. We're gonna choose stinger. Then we're gonna hit okay. And now we're gonna browse for that video file. We're gonna click on that transition we just downloaded earlier, click open. And then now we gotta go all the way down to where it says transition point. Now on that page we skipped through, it told us the transition point. I remembered it's gonna be a thousand for this one. Then we hit OK. Now we're going to click on a different scene like that. Give it a second. And boom, we got a perfect little transition there. So go feel free to test that out there. Looks beautiful. But now you're streaming in style. So now you can get more viewers. But if you want to get even more viewers and grow your stream, watch this video to the side me. It's going to take your stream to the next level. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.